Okay, now that we've got that saved, and I can verify by going to my documents, my favorite things folder, you can see we have a little Photoshop document right there. This is, of course, how we'll continue working on our Photoshop. You don't start Photoshop the same way we did a minute ago. You can see I've got a few pictures saved. Make sure dimensions and comments are visible. All right, let's go and get a title for our video. So right now, if you can't see these layers over here, then you can press F7 to make them appear or disappear. You can also go and find it anytime you need to right here. Layers are one of those critical things that you got to master. You can see that it started out with a background layer here that's locked. And then we did type a typing layer that didn't have anything on it. So we can get rid of that by dragging it to the trash can. And now we're going to start a fresh T for typing tool typing right here. Okay. So one of the things that uh, made it impossible to see before is that we had a white background and the color of the text was white. So this is a color picker. You can move around anywhere inside this space and then you can move this up and down as well to find your colors. Right now we are going to stick with black text on a white background. We've got the Arial font, it's set to bold, and this is the font size right here. You can also see the left justify, center, and right justify. And we are going to center our title right here. Now we don't want to be typing in these outer areas. So I want you to click and drag using the T tool right here on this corner. Go all the way across and stay inside that safe zone and then come down well, a little more than halfway. And now we have this, what I call a corral, a text area where it doesn't matter how much we type, it's gonna stay inside that. You do not want your words to go outside and off of your document. There is some text there, it is very small. If you just do the drag down like this, that drop down box, that's as big as you can get. And we want it to say, my favorite Things. Notice I didn't have to delete what was there. If it's highlighted, then it gets replaced. And I could change to a bigger number right here. I could make this maybe 150, but nothing changed because it has to be selected. So Control A, that keyboard shortcut that I've been talking about, selects everything that's in the text box. And now I can type 150. And you can see that with this font in this box with this font size it almost goes all the way across now we can try out different fonts by clicking and dropping down and looking for something but one of my favorite ways is just to click once in the box and use the down arrow on my keyboard and i can very quickly go through a whole bunch of different fonts to find one that i like it also has to be one that's going to work well for this. And we're going to be adding some effects to our text. So we want a nice big bold font. Something thin like this is not going to work. I'm going to hold down the control button on my keyboard and press the plus. It's right next to the backspace. Let me go back down here. And that let me zoom in a little bit. Now we're looking at this at 100% view. Now I'm going to go through and try some different fonts. So that will not work. This would work pretty well. This would also work well. Those really thin parts of it are not going to be great. This is not what we want for our main title. It has to be super easy to read. And this is something we might use maybe for our signature down at the bottom. You say buy and you can put your name on there. But what we want for this is going to be something big and bold so it can really hold the effects. Nothing that's got any transparency in it. Let me just quickly randomly go through and find something nice and big. Um, let me now make this a little smaller because it no longer fits. Try 140. There we go. My favorite things. So that's going to be our title. And now that we've made some changes, you can see that asterisk is there. I'm going to say, yes, I want to use that. 
This will cancel all the things that we just tried. This will commit the change. And now we have a layer down here. It uses the first part of the text that you typed in. And now we've got a My Favorite Things layer that we can turn off and on. So that's the visibility of that layer. Checkerboard means transparency when you're working with Adobe. And now we have our title there at the top. I'm going to press Control with my left pinky finger. With my pointer finger, just tap that S key. You want to do that every time you accomplish something. So when you finish a layer, when you find the perfect font, save it. Get rid of that little asterisk there so that you know if the bell rings and you can just close this, you know that it was saved right here at the end. So I will continue with the next part, which is putting our name on the lower part of the screen.